Welcome to Maths TV. Today we will be going through IGCSC Mathematics 0580-12 May June 2017. Welcome to Maths TV. Today we will be going through IGCSC Mathematics Paper 1 Core 0580-12 May June 2017. Question number 1. Write this number correct to two significant figures. So, two significant figures mean we'll have to remove these two are leading zeros are non-significant, so 7 and 1. So, we have to remove this portion. So, this is more than 5, so we'll be adding 1 to this, so our answer will be 0 0.072. This will be our answer. Question number 2, the probability that uh, Stephanie wins or uh, her next tennis match which is uh, 0 0.85 find the probability that Stephanie does not win so total probability is 1 so we can write 1 minus 0 0.85 which will be equal to 0 0.15 and we can write answer over here 0 0.15 now this is uh, calculator use question number three is calculator use and we can type this one as 120 and plus 3.8 squared minus 25 so answer will be 0 0.3944 0 0.3944 and we can write answer 0 0.3944 up to three significant figures. Question number four, work out 85% uh, as a percentage of this one. So 85 over, I'll move the page a little above so that you can see properly, 85 over uh, 2.03 dollars will have to change into cent because this is uh, in cent. So this will be multiplied by 100. It will be 203 and percentage will calculate by multiplying with 100 so our calculation will be 85 divided by 203 and multiply by 100 this will be resulting to 41.87 so 41.87 41.87 will be our final answer change this one into meter square so we will be Solving question number 5, which is uh, 6200, and this is centimeter square. We can write like this, and which we have to change into meter. So we'll divide by 100 and divide this by 100, and centimeter will be gone. Now it will be in meters, and now we can divide this, like for example, our equation will become this one divided by four zeros and this will be meter square and we can write 0 0.62 meter square. So our answer will be 0 0.62. Question number six is factorize and the maximum which we can take common is 7, so it will be 2x minus 3y, this will be our answer, 7 into 2x minus 3y, this will be our answer. Now question number 7, which is uh, the daily temperature in degree Celsius at 3 p.m. in a town is shown below. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, they all, they have given all the temperatures. Now, um, A part, which day had the clo coldest temperature? So, the minimum is minus 4. So, this is on Friday. We can write here Friday. Then, B part, work out the difference in temperature on Friday and Saturday. So, Friday is minus 4 and Saturday is plus 1 plus, uh, sorry, 3. So, difference will be minus. So, it will be minus 4 minus 3 which is minus 7. Basically, the difference will be 7. So, we will show the difference which is 7. So, difference between these uh, numbers will be 7. So, we can write that the difference will be 7. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर एट राइट दीज नंबर इन ऑर्डर ऑफ साइज स्मॉलेस्ट फर्स्ट सो स्मॉलेस्ट फर्स्ट वी हैव टू राइट द नंबर इफ यू कन्वर्ट दीज इन टू डेसिमल टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट टू कंपेयर दैम सो दिस विल बी जीरो पॉइंट जीरो पॉइंट थ्री वन एट दिस इज ऑलरेडी इन डेसिमल नो थर्टी थ्री परसेंट वी कैन राइट थर्टी थ्री percent will be divided by 100 so it will be equal to 0.33 this will be 0.33 similarly 1 divided by 1 divided by 3 will be resulting to 0.33 re recurring 0.3333 recurring and next what we can do we can uh, compare them smallest will be 0.3 this one so it will be 0.3 next number will be this one which is uh, 7 by 22 if we compare the next one will be 33% and last number will be 1 over 3 question number 9 the shape above is a rhombus draw all the lines of symmetry on the shape so we can draw see this will be line of symmetry we can draw this one this will be folding to the side and we can draw line of symmetry over here as well and this will also be line of symmetry this shape triangular shape can fit on the other side so lines of symmetry we can write uh, line two lines of symmetry lines of symmetry will be 2 no question number 10 write 0.03 as percentage so percentage format we we'll, we can write 0.03 over 100 and this will be uh, like uh, percentage we can write like this one 3% if we convert this one 0.03 to remove the decimals we will write over 100 and 3 over 100 we can write as 3% so answer will be 3 percentage is also already written so write 37% as a fraction so 37 37 over 100 this will be in the form of fraction so we can write 37 over 100 Similarly, this one question by eleven. Find the value of this one when a is given, b is given. So we'll replace the values. Five a means seven minus three into b means minus two, and this will be thirty-five my plus. This will be six. So minus three into minus two will be plus six. So this will be resulting to forty-one. Our answer will be forty-one. Question number twelve. The diagram shows a straight line intersecting two parallel lines. So these are two parallel lines. They have shown with arrows, and this is the line intersect intersecting uh, this one to these two parallel lines. Find the value of P and Q. So P will be one eighty minus seventy. So we can write P is equal to one eighty degree minus seventy degree, which is equal to Hundred and ten, basically. So we can write hundred and ten degrees. P will be hundred and ten degrees. And for Q, we can see see this one. This angle will be equal to this angle, alternating angles, and this angle will be equal to this angle. So we can write Q is equal to seventy degrees. An answer will be here. Now we have to solve this one. Solve this one means we have to find the value of x. So minus x we can shift to other side. So it will be five x plus x and one we can shift to this side. So two minus one. So this will be six x on this side and this side will be having one. So x will be equal to one by six. So answer will be one over six. Question number fourteen. Uh, write zero point zero six zero five in standard form. Standard form, you know, is that decimal is always after first non-zero number. So we'll have to write decimal after six. So six point zero five, 
and how many num digits we have jumped uh, decimal is jumping two digits to the right so if it is to the right it will be minus so minus two so our answer will be 6.05 into 10 raised by minus 2. If decimal is jumping to the left, then it will be, power will be positive. Calculate 0 0.1 into this, giving your answer in standard form. So we will use calculator 0 0.1 multiplied by 5.1 into 10 raised to the power 4. And this will be equal to 5100 but we have to give answer in standard form so it means decimal we require after first non-zero number 5.1 into 10 raised to the power how many digits 1 2 3 to the left so 10 raised to the power plus 3 so our answer will be 5.1 into 10 raised to the power 3 question number 15 the mass m Kilograms of a cat is 2.7 kg, correct one decimal place, complete the statement. So it's upper bound, lower bound question. So correct to the uh, to one decimal place basically. So 2.7, uh, this will be upper bound, upper bound will be um, writing like 2.7 and decimal 5. So 0 point, 0 point 0 0.05 we will be adding and subtracting. So 0 0.05 plus minus we will be doing for upper and lower bound. So lower bound will be 2.65. And this is how we are writing the answer. Lower bound will always be on the smaller side and 2.75 will be on this side. If you are switching the side, you will not be getting full marks. You will be getting uh, one mark instead of two marks. So you will have to be careful for that. And then question number 16, calculate the value of x. Basically angle we have to check. So trigonometry we will apply. The side is opposite is given and hypotenuse is given. And we know opposite over hypotenuse is sine. So sine x will be equal to 4 over 7. So x will be equal to sine inverse of 4 over 7 and we can calculate this sine inverse of uh, 4 divided by 7 will be equal to uh, 34.849 so this will be 34.8499 and we can round it to 34.85 so this will be our answer now here comes question number 17 uh, in uh, graph is given in this graph they are saying find the uh, gradient of the line a b so gradient of line a b we have to find so what we will be doing we will be making a triangle from this point to this point and you know gradient is like rise over run so we can show with dotted line and this will be our rise and this side will be run so we can show run on this side also with the dotted line so this side is starting from 2 and up to 10 so this side is 8 units and from this side it will be basically we can take instead of this one we can take a little bigger triangle up to this one so that it will be getting round on, uh, values so we can take dotted line up to this one so now this side is uh, 9 units because 10 this is 10 and this is 1 so 10 minus 1 will be 9 units and this is 1 2 3 so this is 3 units so we know gradient is what gradient is m is equal to rise over run which is equal to 9 over 3 which is 3 so gradient will be 3 we can write in the proper location provided
Now the question number 18, similar triangles, triangles A, B, C and D, E, F are similar, find the length of E, F. So we will check the conversion ratio for uh, K factor, so this will be K will be conversion and this one will be equal to, for example, this side is 5 and uh, 15 and 5, so we can compare them 15 over 5, this will be equal to 3. So if we multiply this by 3 we will get this if we divide this by 3 we will get this so this is the conversion now we have to divide this also by 3 so this will be we can write ef is equal to uh, 16.5 divided by 3 and this will be if we divide 16.5 divided by 3 this will be equal to not 3 basically uh, yeah 3 so this will be equal to 5.5 so this will be 5.5 answer will be 5.5 centimeter is already provided so question number 19 the exchange rate between dollars and euro is 1 euro is equal to 1.158 dollars felicity uh, changes uh, 4900 into dollars so these many euros so 4900 multiplied by 1.58 which is the rate so 4900 multiplied by 1.58 this will be equal to double seven basically we have uh, done mistake the rate is 1.15 1.15 so we will be taking 1.15 and this will be equal to 5674 5674.2 and we can write here 5674.2 dollars now Ricky changes dollars 2895 dollars basically this much dollars into euros so 2895 this much dollars divided by because um, lighter currency to higher heavier currency we will be dividing by the conversion ratio and from heavier to lighter we will be multiplying so this is the rule which you will have to keep in mind for conversion of currencies so this will be equal to 2500 and this will be equal to 2500. Hope you are understanding each and everything. Now this is question number 20 which is a circle theorem question ABC are points on the circumference of the circle with diameter AB. A, a, uh, a tangent is drawn at A. Okay, so tangent is drawn at A. So this is a 90 degree angle because tangent is always making 90 degree angle with the uh, radius so a b c are the points the circumference a b is diameter so a b is diameter mean it is passing through the center suppose center is over here so this is the radius so radius and um, tangent are making angle of 90 degree b a c b a c is 90 minus 42 so 90 minus 42 will be equal to 48 degrees so we can uh, write this one as 48 degrees angle a b c a b c basically this angle is required and this exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the remote uh, interior angle basically but this is a theorem otherwise what we can do we can um, uh, take it uh, like, like for example we know this angle this angle is 48 and this is 90 degree because angle in a semicircle so this is a triangle, triangle in a semicircle is right angle, so this is 90 degree. So this will be, we can write 180 minus 48 plus 90 degree. So this will be equal to 42 degrees, basically we can write here answer. Then it is question number 21. Without using a calculator, we have to show basically the working and working we can show. This is 5 over 8, 5 over 6 minus 1 by 2. We can take LCM as 6. So this will be 5 minus this will be 3. 6 divided by 2 will be 3. So 3 multiplied by 1 will be this one. So 5 minus 3 will be 2. 
2 over 6 which is equal to 1 by 3 this will be our answer now show that this is equal to this so this relation we have to prove so we will take left hand side left hand side is 4 whole 1 by 6 multiply by 1 whole 4 by 5 so this one we can convert as 4 6 are 24 plus 125 so 25 by 6 multiply by 5 ones are 5 plus 4 will be 9 so 9 by 5 now this will be cancelled 5 fives are 25 and 3 twos are 6 and 3 threes are 9 this will be equal to 15 by 2 which is equal to 2 whole 7 uh, sorry 7 whole 1 by 2 because when you divide Two sevens are 14 so 7 whole 1 by 2 which is equal to right hand side so left hand side is equal to right hand side this is what we have to prove so this is done now next question number 22 each diagram shows the net of the solid write down the mathematical name of the solid so first drawing this one is a square pyramid or we can write just a pyramid because these two four sides are joining these are the joining sides so it will be a pyramid so we can write here pyramid then comes this one this is this will be triangular side and these two sides will be joining and making a triangular prism basically so we can write here triangular prism so basically for nets questions you will have to practice you will have to practice like four five questions and questions are already given uh, in our maths tv channel also you can practice from there or anywhere else but you will have to practice uh, next questions these are simple but they require like physical modeling also so the cross section of uh, this prism is a trapezium so this side is basically trapezium trapezium this one so this is trapezium and calculate the volume volume will be face area face area multiply by the length so face to calculate the face area we will apply trapezium rule and that will be uh, 1 by 2 into opposite sides will be 8 plus 14 a plus b into h and perpendicular height is given which is this one so this and multiply by this length which is 18 so this will be equal to volume and this one we can calculate and this will be like uh, we can solve these inner brackets first this will be 22 22 into 5 by 2 we can write 5 by 2 and multiply by 18 and this one we can uh, multiply like for example 5 over 2 and this one will be multiply by 22 and this will be equal to this one and then multiply by 18 this will be equal to 990 990 so answer will be over here so this is done then question number 23 Pablo has uh, $16,400 to invest in one of these saving uh, plans Plan A and Plan B, two plans they have given in Plan A, it is compound interest and at the rate of this one per year and Plan B, simple interest and the rate is 4% per year. Um, Pablo invest the this amount for three years. Calculate how much more he will receive from Plan A than Plan B. So we will say Plan A. Plan A, we will check. This will become compound interest and the amount will be 16400 and 1 plus 4 over 100 
r over 100 rate is 4 so 4 over 100 raised to the power the duration which is 3 and now we can calculate this and this will be 16400 and multiply by 1 plus and the fraction will be 4 over 100 and this one will be raised to the power 3 and this will be equal to 18447 18447 0.7696 0.7696 so this is the amount for plan A now for plan B also we can calculate this will be basically uh, simple interest PRT over 100 so principal amount is this one R is uh, basically 4% into 3 over 100 this will be the simple interest formula which we have applied so this will be 16400 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 3 and divided by 100 and this will be resulting to 1968 1968 so now we can uh, check uh, the difference but before checking the difference this is basically the interest only right so this will be interest and plus principal amount principal amount will be 16400 and this will be plus 16400 this will be equal to 18368 this will be in case of simple interest so we can write here p plus this one so that this will be principal amount will be added to this so now we can find the difference we can write here difference will be equal to 18447.7696 minus 18368 and this number is already there this second number is already there so we will write 18447.7696 minus answer uh, minus answer will be equal to this much 79 point this will be equal to 79.7696 so our answer will be we can move the page a little above this one so this will be 79.77 dollars this will be the difference now this is uh, last question 24 work out the area of a circle with radius 6 area of a circle with radius uh, 6 so we'll apply radius form uh, area formula area of a circle is equal to pi r squared which is equal to pi into r is 6 so 6 squared we can write this and this will be pi into 6 squared will be equal to 36 pi which is 113.09 113.09 which is 113.1 now the a cylinder solid cylinder has a length of 15 centimeter and radius of 6 centimeter calculate the total surface area of the cylinder so total surface area basically we have to calculate to calculate the total surface area we will be having three um, uh, shapes to consider one is this side will be having area of this one and area of this one will be multiplied by the other side which will be like this one so we have to consider these two sides plus this if we cut from here we'll get a rectangular shape which will be having length of this one and one side will be 15 the other side will be parameter of this uh, circle so we can uh, add all these things this will be um, this will be parameter of this one will be 2 pi into r 2 pi r will be parameter of this and multiply by 15 this will be the one shape which is rectangular shape which will be if we cut from here and open we will get a shape like this and this shape will be uh, 2 pi this side will be 15 this side will be 15 and this side will be 2 pi r 
and this side will be 2 pi r. So if we cut this shape, we will get this rectangular shape and I have drawn separately for your understanding and this one will be the area of this rectangular shape. Now the two other sides are pi r square. So we will write pi r squared for this side and pi r squared for this side. Two opposite sides will be having the same area. Now <clears throat> I will move the page a little above. Now we have to basically calculate, add all these things. So 2 pi into radius is basically 6. So multiply by 15 plus this one will be 2 pi and r square so it will be 6 squared so we can write this one and we will type this in calculator so this will be 2 into pi and multiply by 6 multiply by 15 this will be equal to 180 pi 180 pi plus this will be uh, 30 72 pi basically 72 pi this will be 36 36 into 2 will be 72 pi so we can add 180 pi plus 72 pi this one will be equal to this answer and if we press decimal this will be 791.68 so answer will be 791.68 hopefully you understood each and everything and don't forget to subscribe Maths TV and like the video as well. And also recommend this channel to your friends and respected teachers. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye.